Hey guys, it's Sammy. Welcome back to my YouTube channel and welcome to another creative sim on my channel. This creative sim is going to be a little different because not only is it a challenge, but I am collabing with Sparkle, AKA Sparkle's Treehouse on YouTube. Sparkle is a very good friend of mine and is an awesome content creator. So I was so excited that we had a behind the scenes project going on for a while now. I will definitely link her channel and video in the description. So definitely check her out. She makes amazing Sims 4 content over there. So with it being October, which I like to call Simtober, I thought it would make sense that I would bring you guys some spooky content as well. So Sparkle shared this vampire create a sim challenge with me and I quickly fell in love with it. So before we jump into the creative sim, I want to quickly talk to you guys about this challenge and hype up the creator of this challenge because it is pretty dang cool. So I will definitely link this Tumblr page in the description box down below for you guys. But as you can see, the challenge is called 28 Bloody Nights of Creative Sim. It came out September 1st of this year, but it is still going on. So definitely check it out if you guys would like to. Um, but as you can see, it is created by Anika Tyler. Shout out to her because this is a pretty cool challenge. As you can see there is quite a few different categories that you can select from when it comes to making vampires so i want to read you guys a little bit of the synopsis of the challenge just so that way you guys are a little bit more familiar with what is going on i've been really into creative sim challenges lately and as spooky times are approaching i decided to create my own i love vampires and all things related to them so the theme was easy to pick will you be joining me for 28 bloody nights tag your post hashtag 28 bloody nights cas so that way i can reblog your post you can start posting your creations whenever you like you don't have to just create vampires bring in their enemies their targets of their thirst and want to be vampires if you feel like it and of course you don't have to do all the prompts um you know you can bring in vampires from books and movies make up your own lore and all that so here are all the prompts they these are a bunch of prompts and they're very 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 cool um you can do newly turned count dracula um so me and sparkle are going to be doing the third and eighth one so my sim that i'm creating is going to be the killer and her sim is going to be the victim so that'll be pretty dang cool so now that we are in create a sim i want to quickly talk to you guys about my sim her name is Evelina Myers, and I am absolutely in love with her. I don't play with occults that often, so I was excited to go out of my comfort zone with her. All I knew is I wanted to make a unique sim, which brings me to her skin. I absolutely love this skin, and we'll link it in the description for you guys. I also wanted to bring an edgy look due to the fact that she is a killer. So I hope you guys like the way I portrayed that. I'm going to do a little visual photo shoot as well at the end, so I hope you guys enjoy. But before I chat too much longer, I hope you guys enjoy the rest of the video. Make sure to check out Sparkle and her side of the collab because her sim looks phenomenal. But one other thing that I wanted to mention that I feel makes me and Sparkle's collab really unique is that I am making my sim in The Sims 3 and hers will be in The Sims 4. So that is a pretty cool little crossover that I th hope that you guys really enjoy. But please make sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe if you haven't already and i will see you guys next time bye guys